focus on you now that we might receive from you and give to you, Lord God, uh, what you certainly deserve in our worship and our praise and adoration. Some of us are here today, Lord, and we're rejoicing because of great medical miracles and things that we've seen happen. And others, Lord, are struggling because of issues and problems and, and decisions that need answers. And Lord, we just ask that you would be for us everything that we need. For certainly you know all things, all things, and you have all power and all understanding. Lord, help us to acknowledge you as our God and to rest in you. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to trust you as a people, as a church, as individuals, with our lives, with our decisions, and our thoughts. We pray, Lord God, that you would take control of our nation, that you would turn us on a path that is pleasing to you, brings you glory. That you would be with those for military service from our country. Lord, they need your help. They need your protection. Their families are fearful for their lives. And we just ask that you would bring them safely home in your time. Now, Lord, as we worship you in song and in prayer today, may you fill us with your spirit and may we receive the truth not as a mental exercise, but as a change that your spirit is going to accomplish in our lives today. We pray in Jesus' name. Yeah.
And Father, we uh, pray that uh, that you'll lift up our pastor, Lord. He's, he he needs your your uh, love as well as all of us need need your love. And we pray that you that you uh, lift him up in uh, what he does and tell him just the words that you want us to hear. And Father, we uh, ask you to uh, uh, go with us in a, in a powerful way and uh, and help us. Uh, uh, to live our lives which is pleasing to you and father we pray that uh, for protection of our uh, loved ones and, and soldiers and uh, uh, both men and women and, and far off places father that we we, we uh, father we need to pray for them every day let's, let's learn what the power of prayer is what's all about and Lord, we uh, pray for the uh, Coptic Christians that's being uh, uh, killed in the in the world today. We all over the world we got uh, uh, turmoil going on. We pray for our government leaders. We pray that the, the, that they will come to you for wisdom and knowledge on how to lead us in our country. And uh, Father, we uh, uh, pray that uh, you'll be with us through the rest of this day. And, uh, and, and uh, Father, we pray that. Uh, that all things will uh, be done according to your will in, in our lives. And Father, we uh, uh, thank you for these things. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Anyway, just for the sake of going ahead and getting it done, if y'all want to go ahead and switch those computer things over right now. Kids are going. And, uh, we're, we have a little technical thing we're working on. I want to uh, mention something about the revival. You have the sermon notes page. It's on the other side of your worship order. And you might want to write this information down. Uh, we're going to be having prayer meetings, home prayer meetings. Look, there's Jesse and Loretta right over there. Hey, y'all. Loretta, did, did you see Al Farwell in the choir? I did. Did you believe it? No, I didn't say that. Anyway.